The Daily Item sat down for an exclusive interview with the family of Samantha Delcamp, the mother of Arabella Parker, on Friday afternoon. Mandy, yeah. obviously it's, this is, it just came from the preliminary arraignment, which they waived. Were you, were you, did you know that was? No, you have no. You kind of distanced from everything. Just can you tell us a little bit about that? I don't have anything nice to say to her, so I was always taught. <laughs> Not to say, yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, during the custody hearing, which you now have full control, mm -hmm. with that being said, you leave the custody hearing knowing that now all final decisions on everything are, are up to you. And, it's, mm -hmm. and this has been very public, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure just just in the community yes. itself, you walking around, people asking you all kind of questions about this. And Can you tell us a little bit about that and what your plans are there? Oh, well, um, we talked to the doctor. There's nothing that they can do anymore for her. So we're just gonna take her off life support. Um, we decided to do it on Wednesday. So these days leading up to that, or you'll be up at the hospital every mm -hmm. day, it's very hard. So you said the doctors, you had conversations with them and there's mm -hmm. pretty much, yeah. did they say what will happen when that happens? She'll, most, she'll go peacefully because she's not breathing at all anymore. The machine's doing all the work. Then you said that's on Wednesday. Yeah. Well, sorry to hear that. and. With that being said, uh, something else happened during this time period with with uh, another child in another state, correct? Mm -hmm. So do you want to tell us about how that came to be? Well, Sarah saw it on Facebook. I saw that a child on Facebook needed a liver. So when we spoke today to the gift of life, I brought this child up and they're going to see if this child still is in need of a liver. No, they're going to reach out to them when they get back to their office. Right. So you just guys felt that was the best thing to do is at least try to save somebody else in this mm -hmm. horrific yeah. situation. Yeah. yeah. And as far as as far as your sister, obviously things could very much change with with the passing of Arabella. It could change for mm -hmm. I mean obviously you already read reports where the district attorney said they will file mm -hmm. actual homicide charges on that. And I mean what what's your opinion on that as far as guess what she gets? I don't really know what else to yeah, say. Yeah. Right. Right. Did you ever? I mean, as far as you, same. I mean. I talked to Sam, and we still talk every night. Actually, she calls me, and we've had conversations about what she did wrong, and she knows she did wrong. And regardless, I'm going to be by her side, and she knows that. Right. Is she is she taking responsibility for for these things? She, yeah, yeah, she is. She knows she should have gone, but just didn't. Right, and as far as and Lucinda, this is a uh, another sister. You, I know you stayed kind of quiet throughout all of this. Yeah. What What are your my thoughts are the same as Mandy's. I mean, she did wrong. She, you pay for your consequences, as they all should. Everybody involved should. And Bonnie, obviously, we talked to you before. What I mean, this is. Of course, I'm going to stand by her. She's my daughter, and I know I understand she did wrong. But she's still my daughter, and I'm still standing by her. I don't care what anybody says. You can hate me, whatever. I don't care. Yeah, but her her choices and her life made us lose our needs. Yes, it did. I mean, there's a, what what would you say to the community? Because obviously you read, and I know we have talked about this even off the camera, that, I mean, the community, they, they, it's hard to understand what's going on, mm -hmm. on, on inside your family and stuff like that. So what would be, what would be... Uh, your message to the community on this part of it for your family here? Just don't say hateful things because you're not in the situation. You clearly don't know everything that's going on. You don't know how she is, how she's been struggling for the past 30 some days. Mm -hmm. So just it's, you don't have really anything to say negative.